Hey, I'm Mindy Kesnick. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be your Madison, Wisconsin expert. I have lived in this area my whole life. And so I can truly tell you all the pros and cons of this beautiful city. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five pros and five cons of living in Madison, Wisconsin. Let's start with the good news. Pro number one would be our outdoors. Madison, Wisconsin is a beautiful city. One of the things that it's known for is being built on an isthmus. There are only two cities in the entire United States that are built on an isthmus. And what that means is our downtown area is built on a narrow strip of land surrounded by two lakes. So on either side of you, you can see Lake Mendota or Lake Monona. And what that provides is some amazing, beautiful views. Our lakes provide lots of different activities that you can rent boats, you can rent canoes, paddle boards. There are several beaches. In addition to our beautiful lakes, we've got tons of parks. There are parks everywhere in and around the Madison area. And there are also lots of opportunities for biking and running. It's a very outdoor friendly biker, runner, rollerblading uh, friendly community. We also have some pretty serious off-road mountain bikers around here. So there are constantly people working on the trails to improve them and just continue to make Madison a really, really active community. At pretty much any holiday or season or day of the week, you will be able to find some sort of marathon, triathlon, beerathon, whatever it is you're looking for, you'll be able to find it in Madison. That brings me to pro number two, the food and drink. We are known for our expansive offering of restaurants and well-renowned chefs in our area. Because we're in the Midwest, we do have a lot of farms and there are several restaurants to choose from that really take a lot of pride in bringing you that farm to table experience. So we've got restaurants like Harvest and Graze and The Heritage and those restaurants specifically, making sure they're using hyper local ingredients from our vendors here in Wisconsin. We have a plethora of steakhouses. We have plenty of breweries. And then if you're willing to take a small commute of maybe a half hour to 45 minutes, you'll also be able to find wineries. We take our food and drinks serious here in Madison, Wisconsin. Some of my personal favorites are Eno Vino, Sardine, and Sushi Red. And if you've never been to the area, you've got to check out one of the hot spots for our famous cheese curd. The old fashioned downtown has perfected them. Little balls of cheese that they deep fry in some breading. A lot of times they'll use local beer to make their breadings. Pro number three, we are very family friendly. There are always opportunities to get your family out of the house no matter what the season is. The Henry Vilas Zoo is one of our favorites. It's a free zoo, which is so unusual, I learned when I've traveled to other places. Our zoo here in Madison, Wisconsin is 100% free, operating on donations only, and it's open year round. It's an amazing place to go and hang out with family, meet some friends. This makes for a great place to spend those winter, it's fun for all ages, and it's a great place to spend the winter days. And just like there's always some sort of marathon or triathlon or festival going on, there's always something happening in the community for families. One of my favorite places to head, especially in the winter months, is Over Gardens. Don't get me wrong, the summer months, they have these beautiful, expansive gardens that you can walk through. But in the winter months, I love just walking through the Bolts Conservancy. It, it feels like you're in a tropical oasis. And to get away from those cold temperatures for just a little while is just one of my favorite things about Madison. We are home to the Madison Mallards, which is our local baseball team. Even if you don't love going to a baseball game, it's a great place to take the friends. There's usually bouncy houses and a mascot and all kinds of different things for you to do with your kids. Number four is our schools. Our public schools are phenomenal. We do offer charter schools and private schools as well, but, but we are really known for our amazing public school districts. Unfortunately, that comes with a price which I'll talk about a little later. Pro number five, we are a college town. Our campus is absolutely beautiful. It's right downtown, offers incredible walkability to anything and everything that you could want or need. We were even rated the number one college town in Sports Illustrated in the past. And we were just ranked number one among public universities by the Washington Monthly. 
That was based on research excellence, social mobility, and community and national service. Our campus is home to Camp Randall, where our beloved Badgers play pretty much any Saturday, all season long. The entire downtown area turns into one giant tailgate party. In the summer months, you don't wanna miss the opportunity to spend some time at the Memorial Union, where you can rent kayaks, paddle boards, or just sit and have a beer and watch the sunset. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about some of the cons in living in Madison, Wisconsin. Con number one, it's the weather. But here's the deal. We do have some really beautiful weather in the summer months specifically, and fall is a favorite amongst Wisconsinites. But I gotta warn you about the winter months. They are cold and dark and snowy. The average temperatures in January are 27, and we do get a lot of snow. The average snowfall per year is 53 inches. That's a lot of snow. I will say though that our snow removal teams are amazing. It is pretty rare that we will shut down really anything due to snowfall. So yes, it's snowy and cold, but we don't let it slow us down. So con number two, I warned you that there was a price to pay for those amazing schools. We are ranked like number eight in the country for the highest taxes. So even though we say that our public schools are free, the median sale price in Madison, Wisconsin is around $350,000. And at that price point, you're gonna pay between five and $6,000 or more for your annual taxes. Con number three, housing costs are high here, like we just kind of talked about. Average rents around Madison, Wisconsin are $1,500 to $1,600 for a three bedroom. That's a little steep. I will say, however, that you will also see some really good appreciation when you invest in Madison, Wisconsin and its surrounding areas. So yes, it's a con that the housing prices are high, but just know that if you do decide to move to Madison, Wisconsin and purchase a home, it is a really good investment. Con number four, it's kind of hard to navigate. Because we are on that isthmus, the way they had to design our city is with a lot of one-way streets. So even my husband being a Madison, Wisconsin native himself, still prefers that I drive when we go downtown. And that's saying a lot. So to get to east and west in the city, you gotta navigate around all these lakes. So sometimes it can be a little hectic. Sometimes it can take a little longer than you would think it should to get from A to B, but it's always a trade off, right? We have some beautiful views because of those lakes. Con number five is Madison can be fairly politically charged. That could be a pro if you're a very passionate person around politics. If you're not, you might just wanna stay away from downtown at certain times of the year. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this helpful. If you want any more information about living or moving to Madison, Wisconsin, I'm your girl, Mindy Kesnick. Watch my channel to learn more about this beautiful city.